have a very serious warning once again that the Lord has given me. And I received this message after reading about the solar eclipse, the great American solar eclipse that is coming on April 8th of 2024. I heard, remember that I said in the last days there were going to be signs in the heavens, stars, sun, and the moon? These signs have been given over the last few years, though most do not care or notice. These signs will increase and many people will start paying attention. America, 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 you were my shining treasure. You were my beacon on a hill, my grace before the storm, my help to the hurting. You were my people, but you have wandered astray and have become a cesspool of wickedness and a haunt for demons. You have spread your evil and rebellious ways all over the world, and they gladly followed. You have become the Pied Piper, leading all the nations down the path to destruction and soon despair. Now all will change and things will never be the same, for I bring my ultimate judgment upon you. This judgment is a convergence of many things coming all at once from many different directions. It will be like it says in the book of Isaiah, and then the Lord quoted the book of Isaiah, and here is what it says. Terror and traps and snares will be your lot, your people of the earth. Those who flee in terror will fall into a trap. Those who escape the trap will be caught in a snare. Destruction falls like rain from the heavens. The foundations of the earth shake. And that's Isaiah 24, 18. There will be nowhere to run. There will be nowhere to hide except under my wings for safety. To those who are my remnant children, who follow the Lamb wherever He goes, you will find protection in my pastures, for I will shepherd you and care for you. Though you walk through the valley of death, you will not fear any evil, for my rod and my staff, they will comfort you. Have faith that I will rescue you from the fires, like I did with the three boys who were thrown into the fiery cage. So too, I will help you find an escape where there seems to be no escape. X marks the spot. I'll say that again. X marks the spot, and the Lord is referring to the eclipse. Cross out your sin and repent, for there is no, for if there is no repentance, then I will bring the disasters that have been planned for this ungodly nation that once was mine. Just as my Hebrew people sinned and served other gods and followed their self-seeking ways, I brought upon them pestilence, famine, and war. So shall it be again on those who call themselves by my name. And then I heard Second Chronicles 7.14, and it says this, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. America, you choose your destiny. You have been warned over and over again, and this eclipse is another warning from heaven. Will you believe and turn from your evil ways, or will you walk away and let it all come tumbling down? Choose, America, this day who you will follow. And that was the end of the message that the Lord gave me. A very, very sobering message, brothers and sisters. He is using this extraordinary sign as putting an X over America through two solar eclipses. Brothers and sisters, putting an X over anything is not a good sign. Because it is, it is a sign of crossing out the nation. That's what came to me, crossing out the nation. The next thing I wanted to bring to you that was interesting about X marks the spot this intersection is also right over or near the New Madrid Fault. I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but it is an interesting fact. There are many prophets and watchmen and women who have received dreams about a New Madrid earthquake, including myself. This New Madrid Fault possibility is, is very interesting, and I'll tell you why. Apparently in 1811, there was a massive New Madrid earthquake. It was so massive that it was felt all the way in New York and Washington, D.C. Here's the interesting fact. Three months before that, there had been a total, total solar eclipse once again. And so there is a definite connection back in the early 1800s of a solar eclipse and then the new Madrid Fault earthquake that happened. 